In the United States, there are many options for travel. Millions of people prefer railroads over driving or flying. Riding a train is a romantic experience. It's like going back in time to a slower era, where instead of focusing on speed, you can relax and take in the scenery. Amtrak is great, but something is missing from the back of this train. Private rail cars. For those who love Amtrak but want more, here is your opportunity to ride in a grander style. For anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars, you can live like a king and ride a private rail car. There are many private car owners who run their cars on charter tours. On these tours, you'll get a better look at the scenery like the Truckee River and the Sierra Nevada Mountains. These scenes are on the way to Reno, Nevada. For just a few hundred dollars per person, you can experience a step up in the travel experience and relive the history of railroading on many private rail cars. Yet some want a more exclusive experience, and for those discriminating travelers, there is an exception, the Virginia City car. Featuring classic art and marble appointments, the car on the back of this train was owned by a real rail king, Lucius Beebe. Lucius Beebe devoted most of his life to publishing books about trains. He wrote in a literary style and published many volumes of railroad history. While many private rail cars offer upgraded appointments, Lucius Beebe made the Virginia City car into a personal Sistine Chapel. Beebe is a famous literary figure from New York who lived in Virginia City. He and his partner Charlie Clegg spent $350,000 in the 1950s to make this Virginia City car into a rolling palace and you can ride it too. While many private rail cars are certainly Cadillacs on rails, the Virginia City car is the Rolls Royce of rail travel. Whether you ride with a group on the Snowflake Adventure Tour or charter the car for your own personal pleasure, being aboard Lucius Beebe's Virginia City private car is like being a piece of rolling history. Featuring an extravagant parlor, a luscious dining room, and ample sleeping accommodations, the crew of the Virginia City will treat you like royalty and cater to your every wish. For nearly 25 years, owner Wade Pelliser has provided the ultimate in luxury rail travel. He has the experience and know-how to make your chartered rail tour a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm Wade Pelliser, and we're on board the private car Virginia City. We're here in Sparks, Nevada, waiting to take our group back to the Bay Area. I've owned the car for almost 24 years. We, we do charters with the car. Uh, we go just about any place that Amtrak goes, and we've gone pretty much all, all places where Amtrak goes. The biggest expense, of course, is when the car is rolling. And yeah. It's on the rails. But generally, I tell people it's somewhere between five and six thousand dollars a day. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And that's all inclusive. That includes the crew, all your meals, sleep on board the car on a cross-country trip. So it's your hotel, your meals. Uh, full crew, all the food, all of your beverage, just sit back, relax, enjoy yourself, sit on the back platform, look out the windows if it's really cold. This car was built in 1928. It was named the Crystal Peak. It was built as a Pullman car for use on the San Francisco Overland train, which ran Chicago to San Francisco. It was rebuilt in the 1930s, had air conditioning applied, and was renamed Golden Peak. In 1954, Lucius Beebe and his partner Charles Clay bought this car, and they used it to replace their first car, the Gold Coast, which is now in the California State Railroad Museum. They invested in 1954-1955 dollars, $350,000 into this car. <laughs> Attorney and I were drinking one night. <laughs> And he explained to me how I could purchase the car and told me not to because I didn't, he didn't know, you know, what kind of liabilities are, is there going to be, what can you do with the car? You know, so why listen to an attorney? What does he know? So I went ahead, bought the car. I purchased the car in 1984. Okay. So it is now 20, 24 years, almost 24 years that I've had the car. We just did a trip, two trips in just last past July. To uh, one that went to Denver, round trip to Denver, and another one for uh, three clients. They went to Los Angeles, New Orleans, Chicago, Portland, Oregon, and then back to the Bay Area. And then we're going to do our annual trip to our car owners convention. This year it's going to be in Long Beach, California. We're going to get that started pretty soon. We, we open that up to our, you know, all of our regular passengers. It'll be on our website. Anybody that wants to become one of our regular passengers is more than welcome. <laughs> yeah.
Look, right now we're in the lounge. We've been in the lounge. I'm standing in front of the Venetian marble fireplace. It's a gas log fireplace that works. It puts out a lot of heat, it's very nice. Behind me, the mirror is uh, an antique that was purchased by Robert Hanley, who was the designer of the interior of the car. Most of the car is filled with antiques. The mirror dates from about the late 18th century. Chandeliers are from Murano. They're all glass and work. Uh, he, he did a, uh, he went on a shopping trip to Northern Italy and bought a lot of antiques and put in the car, which is what raised the, the price of how much money they put into it. They told him they wanted a car that was really outrageous. His comment was, I think I have succeeded. The car has three bedrooms, that sleep two each, and a formal dining room, and a kitchen, and a cruise quarters. It's fully air-conditioned, it's heated, it's self-contained. 